Good morning friends. Now we will discuss about what is the basics about the theory of computation. What is the meaning of theory of computation? It is the study of abstract computing devices or machines. Meaning is that we will study about the theory about the computing devices like such as we have calculator, we have computer. Those we can call they are as a computational devices. So we will study the background or the theory about them the mathematical model, not we will study about the basics of a computer like what is CPU or this thing. We will study the mathematical model of the computing devices, the theory behind the mathematical model of those computing devices such as, such as before the computer came we in 1930s, 40s itself we have the uh, Turing machines, we have the automators, all regarding those things what are the missions which are available before the computing devices are actually came. So we will study the theory about them. So why I am saying the Turing mission? Turing has proposed an abstract mission that had all the capabilities of today's computers. Okay, he, that mission we will call it as a Turing mission or we will call it as a Turing model. Okay, he that time itself he has proposed that he a mission which is we will call it as a Turing mission or Turing model. He and it has a capability of today's computers. We can perform the addition, we can perform the replacement, we can find the, those things, basic things we can do by using the Turing machines. Okay, so I hope you have understood what is meant by theory of computation, why this word called theory of computation came and what we will study. So let me discuss about the basics you will learn about the theory of computation and the entire course. Before I start about the grammar, because I said that the, we will study about the grammars, languages and mathematical models. So before discussing them, let me discuss about what is meant by alphabet. Okay, alphabet is a finite set of symbols. It can be A comma B. Is it clear? It can, it is an alphabet, is a finite set. I am saying that it's finite set of uh, symbols. It can be A comma B or it can be A comma B comma C or it can be 0 comma 1. Any symbols it can be, it is a finite set of symbols. Okay. So what are the languages we will generate everything? We will generate by using this A comma B. If it is our alphabets are A comma B, we will generate the languages using A comma B only. If our alphabets are A, B, C, then we will generate the languages with the help of A, B, C only. And the al alphabets is 0 comma 1. Now programming languages they are using A to Z and capital A to Z and 0 to 1 and special characters. Those are the alphabets. So I am giving an example for what is an alphabet. Alphabet is a finite set of symbols. So it can be A comma B, A, B, C or something. Now we will discuss what is a string. Or let me discuss what is a language if you, even you will understand what is a string. So it is a word which can be generated with an alphabet. So, so like you have alphabets, let's say that you have alphabets A comma B. What are the strings you can generate? You can generate A, B. Okay. If it is length 2, you will generate A, B. You will generate B, B. You will generate B, A. You will generate A, A. If it is length 1 strings, you will generate A comma B. If it is length 0, you will generate epsilon. Okay, so what is this epsilon? We will discuss in detail. We can say that any uh, means if it is any alphabets of length zero, we will call it as epsilon, which is meaning is that the length of the string is zero here. Whereas length of the string is a is one. If it is a a, it is two. If it is three a s or three a b s whatever it is, the length is three. Whereas epsilon, the length of the string is zero. So we can call this as an empty string. Okay. So these are the alphabets, this is about the strings. We will discuss about what is a long ways. Long ways is a collection of strings. Is it clear? Any long ways, even our English long ways is a collection of words only. So our long ways here is a collection of strings. Suppose if I say that a long way on an alphabet A comma B, let me define my long ways. An alphabet A comma B, find a long ways which can consist of all the strings of length 2. Let me repeat again. A long ways L1 which is generated on alphabets A comma B consists of strings of length 2. 
meaning is that I need to find what are the strings which are possible using length 2. What are the strings which are possible using length 2? It can be AA, it can be AB, it can be BA, it can be BB. So this is my long ways L1. Is it clear? The long ways L1 on alphabets A comma B on strings of length 2. So this is the strings, collection of strings A, 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 B, B, A, B, B. So these kind of long ways is, we will call it as a finite long ways. Because if you have a finite number of strings in the long ways, then we will call it as a finite long ways. Then you can ask me what is an infinite long ways. Let me discuss that on alphabets A comma B, I have a long ways. I have a long ways L2 which is generated on alphabets A comma B and the string should start with only A. Means I want to know the strings means my long ways should consist of only strings which are starting with A. If it is starting with A, the smallest string is possible is A. Then you have AB. You have AA. Even AA is started with A. Okay. You have AAB. You have ABA. You have a, 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 like that you will have infinite, am I right, infinite number of strings you will have. So, when we can call a long base is an infinite long base, if you have an infinite number of strings available in a long base, that long base we will call it as an infinite long base. If a long base consists of finite number of strings, then we will call it as a finite long base. Then you can ask me, sir, why we are studying these models? If it is an infinite long base, let me repeat again. If it is in finite long ways, we can store it somewhere. Suppose I will state that someone has asked me, I want to search BB is there in this long ways or not. I have generated a long ways. Someone want to check whether BB string is available in this long ways or not. Now, as it is a finite long ways, I can store it in a finite amount of memory in my computer and I can write a program and I can search whether BB is available or not. If it is an infinite long ways, then I need an infinite amount of memory because I need to store all these things and, and means in a finite memory I cannot do it. Is it clear? So if I want to store it in my computer, it is not means possible because I in infinite memory, I don't know how much memory it is required. So we cannot store it usually. So what we will do, so to represent these infinite languages, we will go for the mathematical model. So we have we will find a mathematical model or equivalent mathematical model for this long ways which is a finite that's why we are calling it as a finite automata all these things because they take the finite amount of memory so you will have finite number of states in the mathematical model so that this finite number of states model we can store in our computer using some algorithm we can check whether the bb string is available in the long ways or not okay so i hope you have understood what is an alphabet what is a string what is a long ways what is a finite long ways what is an infinite long ways why should we study about the models and remember one thing usually people will not give the long ways for you they will not give in a sentence they will give you a grammar okay they will give you some grammar which consists of vertices terminals starting production, start symbol, pro set of product, you will have a grammar which consists of four things, vertices will be there, terminals will be there, set of productions will be there, start symbol, all these things they will represent. Then using those grammar, you will generate the long ways. From the long ways, you will construct the mathematical model. Okay, so I hope you have understood the basics. So in the next video, we will discuss about much more about a finite automata, all these things. Thank you so much.